Good morning, welcome to the vlog. I have a couple fun things to do today, so I'm gonna take you along with me. But first, I need to wash off this self tanner because it's looking a little crazy and I just, I need to get it off and hopefully we'll be nice and tan under this because right now I look orange. So let's wash it off. washed off the self tanner i look much better now a lot less orange i got myself a coffee from duncan i got the pink velvet macchiato which is actually better than i thought it would be so i'm enjoying a nice little pink coffee today so i have a hair appointment this morning which is why i didn't wash my hair and why she looks absolutely disgusting but that's because we're getting her done so ignore that but we have a date night tonight which i'm very excited about so this is essentially me getting ready for the date but not really, like I still wanna just show you guys my day, but it's kind of me getting ready for the date. Which is why I self tan, I'm getting my hair done. We're celebrating Valentine's Day a little bit early just because Valentine's Day falls in the middle of the week. It's on a Wednesday and we work, so that's just not gonna work for us. So we're celebrating a little bit early, which is always fun. Right now, I'm not gonna do any makeup because I wanna save the makeup for the dinner. So I'm going to do just some skincare and get my skin nice and ready and prepped for the day. I just realized you can totally see my Squishmallow right there but whatever my nephew calls him ladybug the first thing i want to do also is take off these lash extensions because um i just i'm kind of over them i have my i have my days with lash extensions like these are the diy ones i have another set of them so i can use those when i feel like putting them back on but i want to do 2016 makeup tonight and i want to wear like fake lashes for that not the lash extensions you know what i mean so i need to clean up the gunk of the glue that is just stuck to my lashes right now and then we can go in with some skincare i know there's like real lash remover but i'm just using a makeup wipe and getting the glue off because i just don't i don't think it's necessary to buy the glue remover when you can just do this you know lashes are off i feel like I feel like me again. I only had them on for like a week. I'm being so dramatic, but I remembered why I don't get them done professionally because I just would pick them all off and then you waste all this money. But anyways, let's get into the skincare. I always take my jewelry off when I'm doing skincare. Like the feeling of product getting under my rings and in my rings just like skeeves me out to no end so my fiance actually asked me to be his valentine in the cutest little way he sent me flowers that are behind me you can't really see them but he sent me the prettiest flowers and then he sent me um i recently found out i have celiac disease so i have to be gluten free and he sent me gluten free little baked by melissa cupcakes how cute is that and those cupcakes, by the way, are so good. Like I thought people were just overhyping them. No, they're actually really good. I used the Ordinary Multi-Peptide and Copper Serum just now. I'm gonna go in with some snail mucin. And if the tan on my wrists and hands looks bad, it just always looks bad. There's nothing I can do about it. I'm just gonna let this sink in literally all day until I have to start getting ready for dinner which i'm probably gonna do as soon as i get home from my hair appointment because that's just it's just what i do is i take forever to get ready for dates because it's like the fun part you know keel's eye cream i use a uh, like pea-sized amount on each eye and on the eyelids what's also exciting about my hair appointment today is we're gonna be planning out the timeline for my wedding hair, AKA my hair extensions, and when I'm gonna color it and cut it and all of that, and I'm so excited. I haven't had my hair extensions since my engagement party, pretty much, so it's been a while. I'm very excited. Little First Aid Beauty moisturizer on top. I've just been trying this one out, which is why I have the small size, but I don't think I love it. I prefer their night cream rather than like the everyday daily one i don't know i think their night cream works a lot better on my skin that's the skincare i will see you guys when i'm headed to my hair appointment 
I'm ready to go to this hair appointment. Let me show you a quick overview of the outfit. The comfy, cozy fit. I'm just wearing a sweatsuit. This sweatsuit is from Abercrombie. It is so comfortable. It's one of my favorite sweatsuits. I love it. And then I just have my little crossbody coach purse. My jewelry is in my phone. I have like seven lip balms in here. So I'm prepped and ready to go. The hair probably won't be a big difference to you guys, but I think to me, it's gonna be a big difference. So see you guys at my appointment. literally obsessed with my hair i think it looks so freaking good we did a little trim touched up the layers and then did a little gloss i literally love it i think it's perfect and i think we're getting close to my wedding day hair color which i'm so excited about uh, just exciting exciting things happening but yeah i'm so happy with my hair and that means i don't have to do anything to it for our date tonight because it's done for me which is fantastic i'm not gonna bore you guys with showing you my entire makeup routine let me know if you guys want a whole other video dedicated to that because i'd love to do that but i feel like I feel like the makeup tutorials aren't popping off on YouTube anymore, so I don't want to waste anyone's time if no one wants to see it, you know what I mean? I am going to go ahead and do my makeup, and I'll probably film a TikTok of it, so if you want to see that, go check out my TikTok, but I am going to do... My inspo is 2016 makeup, so... I haven't done that in a while to be honest because the clean girl aesthetic has taken over my life as it has everyone else's and then I will come back to you guys after I show you the final result and then I have to get I have to get dressed and then I'm pretty much ready to go and then I'll show you little little snippets of our date night too because I'm excited for this place we've been to this place once before and this was before I found out I had celiac disease so the pasta was so good so I have really high hopes for their gluten-free pasta too literally just rushed out the door so I didn't have time to film on my normal camera so I'm filming on my phone but we're headed to dinner Are you excited I'm very excited. So hungry. But this eye won't stop watering, which is so annoying, but the makeout came out so good. We just got home, dinner was delicious, but I wanna show you guys my outfit because I didn't get to show you guys before because I ended up running late a little bit. So I didn't get to show you guys, like I had planned to. The full makeup look is on my TikTok if you're curious about anything that I used. So go look at it there. If you guys want like a full video on it, let me know. Okay, I have my jewelry on. I just realized I've been looking at the viewfinder the whole time, so I'm really sorry about that. These are from Amazon. These are, I don't know, from when I originally got them pierced. I think at Claire's, don't judge me. Um, and then this is a new piercing. I also just got my engagement ring and then my aura ring. And then these necklaces. This one my fiance got me and this one is from Etsy. The top is from Amazon. The leather pants are from Abercrombie. Um, I can have these linked for you guys in my like to know it in my Amazon storefront. And then I just wore some sneakers. Super comfy cash, cute. But that's it for this little vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks so much for watching. See you guys in the next one.